Hello, 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 and welcome to my channel, or welcome back to my channel. Hopefully it's a welcome back, but just in case, my name is Kiona, and I mainly do diamond painting content on this channel. If you're new here, welcome. I just said welcome. But I do recommend clicking on that thumbnail right now, thumbnail, that I right now, sitting there telling you, uh, magic potion, DAC magic potion, uh, playlist, words, hard. We're going to keep that in there. Normally, I wouldn't. Normally, I'd refilm, but screw it. So, I recommend clicking up there in the eye and sitting there and going to the DAC Magic Potion time lapse right now and starting from the very beginning because this is week nine, y'all. We are going into our third month of this diamond painting. In days wise, I think we're going into our second month when it comes to days actually worked on it, but when it comes to weeks, it's third month, y'all. Third month. We're going to start halfway through D8 here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. So, let's do some reminders here. What I want you to remember is to pay attention to the time lapse. What you're going to do is pay attention, determine based on the speed what you think it is, and you're going to leave a comment down below. You're going to leave a comment down below to guess the, per the time speed. I keep saying percentage, but it's time. I do accept when you say 45%, I know you mean 45,000 or 4,500%, which is 45 times. But, um, what was I saying? My mad. My, my brain's not working. Sorry. So, don't forget to guess the speed. And no, this week is not 45 times speed. But, anywho, last week was. Ah! <laughs> So, if you're sitting at the very beginning, you're like, oh, shit, I guess the speed right. Here's your name right here. Because I guess speed right, there's your screen name. Now, what you all are also guessing is how far along I get into this diamond painting. And this week's has already been guessed in last week's video. And we'll see where we're at because you will be updated at the end of this week, you know. With whoever did that, whoever guessed, I will give your shout outs. Let's give the shout outs. Either way. What was I saying? So pay attention to time lapse speed, whatever. Yeah. This is Magic Potion by Genobia Art from Di from Diamond Art Club. The link's always listed down below. It's been restocked once already. This is a Cyber Monday release. And I have been working on it not every day. But every week, I have put out content on this time lapse. So I am not going to sit there and dilly-daddle anymore. There's chapters if you want to jump along from each day or whatever. I'm going to get into it because I want to finish this. And there is a drill. I didn't push all the way in. I'd like to finish this. I'd like to get on because it is Monday night. Monday night at stupid o'clock. It's on 9.31. Sorry, I had to fix that. Anybody else hate the spring forward crap? Yeah. So, yeah. My tools are from Unimade, Enablers Outpost, I'm Pen Pal, Randa's Crafty Corner, and of course my very own shop. I use a wax minder in every single day of this video. Very handy tool, you'll check it out sometime. And I use my own trash minders. This is just one without vinyl on it. To hold all the trash, which you'll see that in the post review. Either way, let's just go into the time lapse. What have I? I've spent like five minutes or six minutes or something on this. Let's go. Go. Go into the time lapse. I want to get to working on this. I don't want to talk no more. Let's go.
I did not get as far as I wanted to this week. I did not. Good Sunday morning. Well, it's not morning anymore. It's um 12.30. Yeah. I had a really rough night, and I slept in. So I'm getting to this a little late, but you'll, you will have it soon. You will have it soon. Uh, I didn't get as far as I wanted to, and if you can understand why, it was not a very good Friday for me. But I'm happy where I got to. Let me move this out of the way so you can see. So I believe we started right about here, like halfway done with this one. If it wasn't that one, it was halfway done with this one. It's been so long. It, or it feels like it's been forever. So let me zoom out a little bit. There we go. Now you can see everything. We started right about here, I think, about halfway through here. Leave my hair clip alone. Y'all know I normally put my hair up, and I didn't today yet. So, uh. so we started probably about halfway through here is where I'm thinking. So I did the rest of this. E8, F8, A9, and B9. And it was pretty much like I didn't do two sections in one day at all. Um, I've been keeping track of my log so I can put it in Jim's Flow on my um, brand new Kindle Scribe. Oops. You don't need to see that. You don't need to see that. That was my to-do list. Look, if you don't make a to-do list, what's wrong with you? Oops, I clicked on Kiona's Corner and not on Magic Potion. So, we got Magic Potion right here. And there's my log right there in that notebook. See, I started keeping track right around here for my log. And yeah, there's a lot of, like, um, weird hours. We don't talk about that. Because I've still been waking up early. I actually need to update my little, my little grid here. My little grid. We're up to B9. No. I don't want to go into the next grid. I gotta start this way. There you go. It's all colored in. You got color in your grid, man. See how far you've gotten. Yes. So we had two guesses that were exactly the same. I'm gonna show them both. You saw both of them in the beginning. And that was Diamond Nana and um Violet Lotus. But the shout out goes to Diamond Nana for guessing 45%. I did almost get the C9. I almost got there. Y'all were close this week. And honestly, if the stuff that happened Friday hadn't have happened, maybe I would have actually gotten that stuff down. Either way, um, I want to thank you all for putting up with me and dealing with me and how crude I can be, how lewd I can be, how I am not the happiest person in the world at all times. and. So, here's your box with both names. These girls are amazing. They've commented on every time lapse, and I greatly appreciate it. You know, they're, they're all in the fun. Now, now is your chance to guess. And look, right here, we're going to put Diamond Nana all by herself. Here we go. So, now is your chance to guess. How far I'm going to get next week. And what the time lapse speed was this week. Just think, if I did 45 times last week, I'm not going to do 45 times this week, okay? I'm never going to do the same speed in two weeks in a row. I don't even know what speed I'm doing. I don't know until I edit, so it's kind of perfect. Either way, I'm going to get out of here. I want you guys to leave a comment down below with your guesses. Tell me how you're doing. Tell me how your week's been. Tell me what you think of our progress on this painting. I will show you. Where we're at, real quick. Ignore all those section frames. I told you they're reusable. So I have them sitting there so I can reuse them when I need to. So we are sitting... Oh, let's get down close real quick. We are sitting right about here on the painting. So we're more than halfway through. I just did that little blue gem on the book. You see that? You see that? All right. You see exactly where we are? Right there. Right there. Ignore my bad nails. <laughs> it's been a week. So, I want to thank you all for hanging out with me. 
Don't forget to leave a comment, like this video if you like these time lapses, um, and subscribe for more. You know, I put the playlist for these time lapses up in the eye every week, and it's something I do really enjoy doing. I'm, got, I'm diamond painting anyway. I might as well record it and get y'all some content. I'm playing with an air bubble, by the way, if you're wondering what I'm doing. You know, I am going to actually go and work on getting this edited. And I'm leaning against the mic. I am so sorry. My hair was up against the mic, everything. But um, I'm going to go, and I'm going to go edit this time lapse and then come back and play with my section frames. Um, not section frames. I got section frames in the brain because people have been asking me more and more about the section frames. Which, before we end this, maybe I should do a little tutorial on how to use them. If you notice, they are on top of the plastic. Sorry, I was looking for my blade cutter. Okay, if you notice, they are on top of the plastic. This is the plastic right here. It's like washi tape. You're using it like washi tape. See that? That's plastic. No stick. Right? This is stick, though. And what you do is you're going to unpeel it from its whatever release frame it's on, whether it's on your own release frame. Look, there's F8. You unpeel it, and then you're going to put it on top of the plastic. And to be honest, the easiest way to put it on top of the plastic, I'm just going to put it over here, is to do the thicker side first, like this. And then you just put it on top of the plastic like that. Okay? So there's your tutorial. And I'm, I'm going to make a chapter for the section frame tutorial. But I will be doing a, excuse me phone, I will be doing a video on it this week because I have been asked about it. So, and I did want to kit up. So I'm thinking I will go ahead and do a time lapse of the kit up instead and then go straight into a video of how to use the section frames because I want to kit up my next painting. But you're going to, when it comes to your next frame, you can either do it up against this line or up against this line. I recommend up against the next line, but <laughs> that way you can just cut right through and then you use the next one as your point. Like, oh, not to go through that. Don't go past that point. But look, I leave a big enough gap that I wiggle between so I don't cut the frame because I don't want to cut the frame. I want to reuse them. And if you want to know how to re, like, what works great and will not ruin them is rubbing alcohol. So yes, yeah, see? Look. So, the reason why I use scissors on these is so they're easier to pick up, but this time I did my scissors way too close. So you'll take your little plastic right here, you'll lift up and see, it's cut right there. You got your sticky right there. Right there. And then you got your line right here. I like to go this way, that way if it didn't cut all the way, it tears towards the section frame. Right? Sticky all the way through. Yeah. So there's that little tutorial, and now let me show you how to clean up a section frame. This is rubbing alcohol. I do resin crafts, and I don't always wear gloves like I should. So I have alcohol in a spray bo bottle. So let's zoom out a little bit so you can see, because I don't want to get this on the D9. You just a little spurt. Not much. There we go. I was like being overcautious, but you don't need much. In fact, that was a lot. Then you take a paper towel. This is a shot vac. You see how it's already starting to wither away right there? You take a little shot vac, or any wipe, and you just rub, and the letter is gone. So that's how these are reusable, not only for re-sticking, because it's still very sticky, it'll still stick. I did not put enough alcohol in that, or I waited too long to rub. Here's how I normally do it, so I don't know why I did it that way. I will spray the cloth, or in your case, you would pour, because I don't think a lot of people have rubbing alcohol in a spray bottle like I do. And then just rub. Just a little rub. You see that? And it's gone. There's a tiny remnant, but not enough to really confuse you. I do have chalkboard. Um, section frames, which in that case, you would, you could use a little bit of water on a rag to wipe off your chalkboard marker, your chalk marker, because that's made for chalk markers, not regular chalk, chalk markers. Yeah, so, 
those are some options. Either way, I had fun. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment down below. I have no problem. Again, I will have a video come out on Wednesday explaining all of these. In fact, I might go record it now. I don't know. Either way, I will see y'all in the next video tomorrow, which is an unboxing. And I'm already ahead. All I have to do is edit it. And if you like what you saw here, leave a thumbs up. Hit the button to subscribe right here. Right there. Click that button. Maybe I'll fix my nails this week. I'll see y'all in the next video. Y'all have a wonderful week. Bye.